Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Kai from the Techno Funk Boy. We're going to take a look at, in our track by track series, we're going to go through the individual tracks from a game, a classic, classic SNES game called Act, Act Razor. And the song is Fillmore. And so let's dive into this. So if you know, if you know Act Razor, this was a really super early uh, any, uh, SNES game. This was not a launch title, but it might as well have been. It was so early. And, and it had a musical style to it that we just we had not heard on games that had come out on the system prior to this. And even now it remains the, the music is is unique and it's very, very kind of kind of Baroque Gothic, very organy, very, very cool. And Fillmore is just one of my favorite tracks. And so we're going to take a listen to uh, to to a chunk of it right now. And then we're going to start tearing it apart because there's a lot I, there's a lot of interesting stuff that's going on in this song that I did not realize was happening until we actually pulled the song apart and take a look on the inside. So it was very, very cool. So let's take a look, listen to the actual the the. The, the regular song. It's that bass. Good night. I want to at least get to this part because this is where it like comes on full blast. And, and now we're going to hit the repeat. So <clears throat> what is going on here? Um, so the SNES has eight channels uh, to use for um, for music. And these are uh, polytone channels. So unlike the NES where each channel was only one note at a time, you can do more than one note at a time on the SNES. So that gives composers a lot of freedom to do a lot of different things with it. Uh, so in this particular case, we're they're going to use seven channels, which is, um, I, I, honestly, I mean, as, you know, as, as a musician, that's a lot. That's seven different instruments playing at the same time. You know, like, like think about your rock band, which is normally like four, right? Um, uh, but it is, so it's still a lot. So kind of diving in I want you to check out first of all the the, the, the uh, channel 7 which is actually the drum channel because uh, this is some really interesting stuff is happening with the drums here So right away, I mean, this is a smooth beat, you know, it does sound very computerized. Um, you can, you can get better drum sounds as the SNES. The SNES allowed you to actually put in um, uh, your own recorded uh, tones and clips and, and, and use that. But the way they're using this was a very, very interesting rhythm. And... The 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 hi hat sound is is much more aggressive than I would normally think that it it would be. That's the 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 sound in here. Okay, um, right there. That's that's very loud, and, I, and it's like that's one of the things I didn't notice until I was really take a look at listen to this track alone we're gonna add into the bass uh and actually let's start it over because so right now we have a like organ tone which is really digging into like you know the um the the, the baroque type aspect of it you know it's like the the the, the kind of gothic um sound that we hear at the very beginning um what we don't expect is the song is transforming into more of a rock tune here.
Now, this bass and this drums together is just smooth. It's just cool. And so, you know, there's there's not a, there's not a lot of ton of motion in it. It's it's doing the same um, the same pattern, just in whatever chord it's in. But that that slap in there is like like the the rest of the song is complex enough. It doesn't need to have like a super complex bass line. But that slap in there, um, that slap sounds just is is very very cool and and really adds kind of this driving element to the to the song. Um, I'm gonna mute those two. Uh, you know, actually, no, no, no. We're going to, we're gonna add in the strings section here. And one thing that's really interesting about this, um, and, and actually, these are more appropriately like orchestra hits. Actually, let's mute it because you can barely hear that. You hear it in the background. It's doing like like very faint counter melody. And this is more of an orchestra hit tone, but the part they wrote for it is what we'd normally expect for strings. Because you know, the orchestra hit normally just comes in and pops something. But you can, uh, you can hear like that really deep string sound in the background as well. Essentially what we have here is uh, is something that's acting as strings, but having much more of a initial punch to it than than we're used to, and that that really does add kind of this uh, this cool element. Well, we're kind of putting in all the parts we have so far. You hear how aggressive this is. Cutting in um, basically everything else. There's just there's a ton of stuff that's going on here that um, we we essentially have like four different tracks that are acting as like organs um, that are bouncing around melodies and counter melodies or sometimes doubling up melodies. Like uh, right, we'll start with these two. Well, let me start over. Oh, you can definitely hear two there. But here they're actually doubling up the melody. Now they're separating. All right, so our other two, um, make sure I got the right tracks going on here. Uh, the other two are, um, I get kind of organ sounds, but they're gonna they're gonna run, um, you know, I kind of chord progressions and counter melodies in here. So you can see like these just. These arpeggios of varying speeds. They're just doing, I mean, it's really complex runs that interweave with each other. If we get all of these tracks in, we'll start. I mean, you can hear distinctly which one is the melody, but you have the, uh, and, and two tracks are doubling the melody right here, and the other two tracks are kind of running arpeggios and, and different counter melodies around here, uh, around the central melody, in a very, very cool way. Like the, 
when they unite, like like in that moment when they when they when they will like unite there, um, for that moment, it's like really powerful. Then they kind of they separate again. Some of these just playing a single bass note, a single chord, but still most of these organs contribute contributing something to this just kind of just cloud of sound of organ sounds that is really kind of filling up this song to an incredible degree and this is one of the reasons that this song was just so impactful is because it it just as soon as this song hits it's it's just this mountain of sound that's coming at you um in, first of all, in a different style than we were used to from anything that we've heard so far. Um, but secondly, uh, just to an intensity that we hadn't we hadn't seen before. And it's one of the re- one of the ways this game really stands out uh, is is in its music. So let's unite everything again. And I want and and now that we've kind of heard the individual parts, we can uh, kind of see where the whole is going again. with with like all of it in there but you have to actually listen pretty closely to hear some of the things that that the other instruments are going but it's adding to the fullness of the of the tune that's where that's where all the organs are uniting you, you can you know you it really stands out because of that And now we get to the loop. So that's Fillmore from Act Razors. This is a really, really cool song. It's one of my very, very favorites from the SCNES era. And um, I, I, I get even more of an appreciation for it when I hear it in, in like in this in this manner um, where I'm where I'm really going to I get to get to like dig in and see what each individual track is doing. Um, and so. Thank you so much for tuning in to Track by Track. Um, if uh, if this is something that you like that we're doing, please do hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button down below. Um, leave me a comment um, uh, if if this is if if uh, if if you found any parts of this song interesting, tell tell me about it. Anything else you want to hear? Uh, be love to tear, tear it apart for you. And in the meantime, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time.